there, my name is Desiree from Stormwind Studios and one of the things that I usually like to utilize in some of my CCMP level classes is the alias command. It's something that we use in the real world environment and a lot of times my NP students are pretty familiar with that command but I don't always like to utilize it or introduce it in some of my NA level classes because a lot of the students that come through those classes are really focused on certification. Now, for those that aren't necessarily just trying to memorize commands that they need to know for the CCNA exam, uh, what I wanted to do was just throw together this video so we can introduce the alias command. And for those of you that want to be able to use it in a production environment, you're gonna find that this is gonna make your life a lot easier. So one of the things that I did was I just spun up actually a topology that I utilized in um, my OSPF lecture when we start introducing multi-area and R1 here, my AVR, um, really is going to be the router that I need to be able to do things like a show IP OSPF neighbor, or maybe I need to do a show IP route on this guy. And so what I wanted to do was rather than type out that entire show IP OSPF neighbor, every single time I need to do this command, um, basically I can spin up an alias. So let me go into global config mode and all it is is the alias command, all right? So when I do alias question mark, there's a whole variety of things that they give us the ability to choose from, right? And basically what I need to do is I need to specify the mode in which I'm going to be issuing these following commands, right? So if I am doing a show IP OSPF, that's done in exec mode, right? Or sometimes referred to as privileged mode. So the exec is the command that I'm gonna utilize next. And then what do we need here? We need a word. What is the alias actually going to be? And this is where you can get pretty creative. All right, if you want to type your name or your initials instead of show IP route, you can certainly do that. Or if you guys have some kind of methodology in your organization that you like to use, everybody uh, likes to abbreviate show IP route, right? With maybe SIR, S-I-R, show IP route. Yeah, it's like just another acronym that we need to learn, right? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, let's say we wanted to do show IP route or S-I-R, right? Um, that, uh, I'm gonna enter and then all I need to do is enter the actual line item. What is sir going to be responsible for translating to? So show IP route, all right? When I hit enter, right? Most of us know we can throw that do command in front of something when we're in global command. So now I do a do S-I-I-R or excuse me, S-I-R uh, show IP route and bam, there's my routing table. So um, we can do the same thing too with, let's say we wanted to do maybe um, show IP interface brief. That's a common one, right? We issue that command a lot, right? And then what do we need to do? Show IP interface brief. And we can also do our shortcuts, right? If we would like. So again, if I do show IP interface brief, Bam, there's my command, all right? I can obviously issue it from here too, all right? And I can do my show IP route. Look how easy that is. This is just one of those really, really easy, quick tips that, you know, some people don't realize that we have available. Um, also, if you ever move on to another platform like the Nexus platform where your WR command isn't taken anymore, you can create a, um, an alias Right? Instead of doing copy run star, every time you want to save your configs in uh, NXOS, you can create the alias WR so, uh, so that it equals copy run start. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I look forward to seeing you all in some of our NA and NP classes. Have a good one.